Hey there, this is kind of a cheap video. It's not going to be processed or anything, and it's only 30 frames a second, and it's not very high res, but, you know, whatever. Um, I recently watched, just a little bit ago, I watched a gluteus video where he was saying a lot of the bullies are on the left. And you know what? There are bullies on the left. Absolutely. Um, most of them are on Twitter and Tumblr and a number of what, what, Gawker, is that the name of it? I don't really go to that, but, you know, most of them are on those kinds of platforms. YouTube, they're not as much on, really, they're not. Um, and they'll tell people things, well, check your privilege. But when someone continues to say that sort of thing, uh, they're the ones that are acting the most privileged. Whether someone is of a priv privileged class or not, if they're acting all privileged, then that's really this, it's, it's, I look at that as worse. If you're going to act all privileged, privileged, you know, fuck you. <laughs> if someone is of a privileged class, but they're not acting privileged at all, why are you sitting there saying, well, check your privilege? You know, that's crap. It's a bunch of crap. And there are people like that, that cunt that was, that, there was this video floating around. Undoomed made a video about it recently. I think it's his last, his most recent video about this cunt who was treating a Lyft driver really, really poorly just because he had this bobblehead uh, uh, Hawaiian girl in his car. And I'm so offended at this and, 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 and you're just... <laughs> You're, you're being inconsiderate completely. And yet she's the one being like totally, a total bitch cunt. Demanding that he take it down. And he's like, why? Why is this such a big deal to you? And the other passenger's like, I don't know what this bitch is about. I don't, I don't know why she's like this. You know, when you run across people like that, there's, there's obviously nothing you can tell them to get them to see anything. You can see it right there. So yeah, people like that, yeah, call them a cunt. It's fine. I, I, you know? And when someone shows that they're not willing to have any sort of conversation, and you try and you try, or you watch other people really, really trying, and they're not being disrespectful, but they're still treating you like shit, yeah, it's time to get out the artillery. You know, it's, it's, it's time to start treating them like shit back. Or if you're able to, just block them and ignore them and never talk with them again, and then you get rid of their... their they, they can't get the spotlight anymore. But those people, yeah, they, they, they deserve to be ridiculed. Yes. And when there's someone that looks like they are reasonable, don't ridicule them. Don't ridicule people that are just that are just trying to talk about a subject. If you disagree with them, fine, but if they're not being nasty about anything, I mean, why treat them like shit? Now the thing about these people, these these that are people that are being considered that are called SJWs, but they're really just pieces of shit. Um they aren't going around Make, they're not they're not making videos with tons of fans and then and then thousands of those fans go and bully someone else okay not on YouTube it's happened on Twitter it's happened on other platforms but that's not really happening on on YouTube it isn't so yes bullies all the way around need to be called out okay I got I got no problem with that The left definitely bullies differently than the right. That's for sure. Now, another issue that's come up is how a number of channels are being, de uh, the, the videos on some channels are being demonetized. Okay? I don't think Google really wants to do that. Okay? But Google is, they have to abide by the rules and, and the things that the advertisers are telling them, okay? 
You and I, we, we are not Google's customers. The advertisers are Google's real customers. And Google has to abide by what the advertisers are demanding. And if the advertisers are saying, we don't want our, our ads put on these types of videos, Google has to say, well, I'm sorry guys, but you know, but some people are saying, oh, well, this is a, a violation of their freedom of speech. You're, you're censoring my videos. It's just like, demonetization is not censorship. I'm sorry. You not being able to make money on a video is not the same as that video not being able to be seen. So, I mean, don't call that censorship. Say that it's fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up. But don't say that it's censorship, because it's not. You are totally free to make these videos without them being monetized, and nobody's stopping you. So, granted, there have been some videos of people's that have been taken down, and, you know, the videos that have actually been taken down flat out, usually are videos where someone is being a piece of shit. Now, I do think it would be nice if they were more even-handed about this. Like I said, I think that uh, Sensei, whatever the hell her name is, right? Yeah, she, <laughs> they need to be going after her shit, but they're not. Then there's Ko Koji Kodza, Kodza, Cat, I can never remember his damn name. He's like a... Uh, a real-life version of Ruby Rod from The Fifth Element, right? He says some just caustic shit. Nasty. And it doesn't get touched. Okay? They do need to be a bit more consistent about this shit. Really. But this does not negate what the right, the alt-right, and the pseudo-faux leftists are uh, are doing the the, the alt right right wing Republican and pseudo left people who want to call themselves on the left but they don't ever say anything that represents a left wing kind of approach to anything what they're doing to other people you know as I've been talking about constantly you know 